So along with painting a room, you can actually fix somebody's broken leg. And <laughs> well, not legally, but I can <laughs> tell you where to go. This is Davy's Doghouse. If you're a home seller or soon to be one, we'll throw you a bone. All right, hey everybody, it's Davy Dog here, and today the doghouse moves to Lewiston, Maine. I'm here with Christian Lepsio from River's Edge Painting, and we're going to talk to the sellers uh, about what kind of decisions they can make as to whether they might want to do their own painting of their house prior to selling or whether it makes sense to bring in a pro. So Christian, tell me a little bit about what got you into the painting world. Well, I was kind of brought up close to it. My dad built log homes. Um, I got a job in high school uh, restoring log homes, staining log homes, a lot of decks, a lot of applicating of all kinds of different materials. So um, when I got a real job and full-time job in the operating room, I kind of always did it on the side as well. Uh -huh. And then as I'm working in the operating room, I see that how much correlates with the painting job, the attention to detail, making sure you're prepared to get a quality product at the end. Nice. So along with painting a room, you can actually fix somebody's broken leg. And <laughs> well, not legally, but I can <laughs> tell you where to go. <laughs> there you go. Um, so uh, we got you going there. So the big question I think sellers probably have, I know as a seller I have in the past is, what should I do as far as whether I want to do the paint job or whether I want to bring a, a, a pro in? What, what do I want to think about to decide that? Well, there's a lot of things to take into consideration. The difficulty of the job. A lot of people don't want to do ceiling work, it, especially vaulted ceilings if anything's up really high. Um, that's intimidating. Open stairways are hard to paint um, where you're working on a ladder on the stairs. Um, and also jobs like this, where this was just a day ago, all natural polyurethane trim. Um, it's a big job and a, and a lot of hard work to get it prepped properly for that. To nice be able to finish. hold the paint. To be able to hold the paint. So yeah. this is a oil primer, <laughs> a, a shellac primer actually. Yeah. And it sticks to any kind of wood. So I sanded it down, scuffed it up, and then applied the oil primer. It's a mess, it oh, smells. Cool. Yeah, but, but it just, works. Yeah, it works. And then anything like that, that a customer doesn't feel like they're up for the task, yeah. it's a lot of work, don't have time to do it. Yeah. A lot of people think they want to get a job done and then just time happens, yeah. life happens. So anything like that, I hire a pro. So do you feel like it's a good deal to get a pro in to take a look at what they're thinking? Even if they don't hire the pro, I mean, what do you do if somebody yeah, calls all... you and says, can you come look at my house? Is there a charge for that or is that a... I personally don't charge okay. estimate fees, yeah. especially if it's right in the area. Um, I'll gladly come and you can get free estimates a lot of places. Okay, so you can go in and you can look at what they're wanting to do and then point out the parts that may be difficult to do. Yeah, absolutely. So that they can make a decision as whether they feel they can do it or not. So a lot of times customers will pick away at it themselves and want me to do, say, the vaulted ceiling yeah. to get yeah. it done for them or, you know, sanding and a little repair yeah. here and there. Okay, so it sounds like just like getting a realtor to come in to talk about where the market's at and figure out if it makes sense to hire a good realtor to sell your home, it also makes sense to have somebody come in and talk about painting. Yeah, for sure. They'll that. open your eye. They'll, they'll give you clarity on... Um, paint costs of paint these days mm. is surprises a lot of people it's you know it's not cheap <laughs> um, and they can also you know maybe they don't know that they have to scuff it up or maybe they think they have to take it down to bare wood right. before they paint it and right. like I'm happy to come and talk and share my knowledge with yeah. people yeah good um, so as far as that goes then um, I know that I've learned over the years with my own painting that there are certain like basic one, two, three rules for interior sure. painting. So can you just kind of run through what we would do if I was in this room and I wanted to paint it? Well, if the homeowner was painting, I would tell them just what you see here. Start with trim. Get yeah. your trim knocked out. Um, first, you know, protect anything. As Dave can see around here, there's blue tape everywhere. Yeah. A high quality sticky tape. Yeah. Um, dust everything off and then get your trim painted. Okay, and, and that's because the trim typically is lighter color than the walls, is that correct? So you can kind of go off into the walls a little bit? Yeah, most of the quicker. time it is white. You yeah. can just 
kind of slap it on yep. the sides. Yep. You know, you don't have to take your time. You don't have to tape off walls. It's yep. less taping. It's less. Okay, that's what I found. Yeah, and then cutting in the walls. And then it's a lot easier to paint on the walls on the, and it'll take two coats to yep. cover that. Wall. And so should I start at the floor and go up, or should I? How should I do that? Generally, paintings top to bottom. Top to bottom. Start top to bottom. Yep. Um, uh, in a lot of bedrooms and living areas, yep. I like to get a roll on the all the walls right away okay first thing is get a coat of paint on the walls you'll be able to see everything different maybe you'll want a different color once oh, it's up okay. on the walls first things first roll a coat on the walls yeah, okay. after the trim is okay. painted so top to bottom yep trim and, first yep then do your walls and you should be good as far as just doing a basic room sure so absolutely. It's, it's the stairs and the vaulted ceilings yeah if you're going to do a ceiling that you run too. into issues as a homeowner that you may want to get a professional into. Correct, yeah. yeah. And you know, like I said, not only the hard work, you're, it's, it's kind of a messy job. Oh yeah. The yeah. ceilings especially, the paint will get in your eyes yeah. and all over your clothes and okay. your arms, you know, it yeah. spits a little. So you want to make sure that everything's protected and you want to make sure you're ready for the task. Okay, sounds good. So <clears throat> the last thing I wanted to ask you was, do you have a particularly favorite job you did? Because I know beyond painting, you do some uh, light carpentry also. You put in yeah. bathroom, walls, wainscoting, chair rails, that kind of thing. Anything yep. that pops in your mind as far as a, a job that you really enjoyed? Well, you know, I love working for people. They uh, they treat me really well. They're so excited about the even the aspect of the you know room getting done over. Yeah. I worked for worked for one woman um, in New Gloucester. Yeah. She we painted her living room. I painted all her trim and walls and ceiling. And now we're going to do a hardwood floor uh, oh, nice. in front of her wood stove and her living area. Yeah. And so that's been really nice. She's. We're kind of the same personalities. That's a lot great. of antiques and old school stuff. That's nice. So they call you back because you did a great job. Yeah, I've and got that's... this house we're in is actually, um, you know, just in the last four months, my fourth call back to, call back to come here. That's do nice. more work for awesome. Well, I really appreciate you uh, coming into the dog house, even though it's your house, <laughs> um, and telling us a little bit about the basis of, of painting and when to, when to look to get a pro. Um, and so thank you for doing that. And thank you everybody for watching this. And I hope you all have a great day. And don't forget, today's the day. Don't dog it.